Yo, <coughs> six cent on sin here, and today we're gonna be making a killer tier list video. This is not including Pinhead, by the way. <coughs> and uh, if you can't tell, I'm a little under the weather, but that's not gonna stop me from making this video. If you like the content, like consider subscribing and maybe sharing with a friend. I try to stream on Twitch when I can, but I am very busy with school and football. But right now, let's get right into the first one, the poster boy of Dead by Daylight. Trapper. Well, most people do say he's one of the weakest killers. In my opinion, you just gotta play him correctly. You just can't place his traps in obvious spots. So ma many people would place him in F tier, but from my experience, if you place his traps next to, in front of totems, or maybe next to popular looping spots, or people will migrate towards, it'll generally work out very well. And if you bring the right add-on, disarming the traps could not be the best idea. So, honestly, I'm not going to put him in the B tier, but I'm not going to put him in the D or F tier. So, I think he sits right in the middle. Moving on from him would be the Wraith. The Wraith, I honestly think, is a very... Strong killer and very underrated. Honestly, he can be freaking deadly. Because him being invisible is so good. Cause you, he doesn't give off a terror right yet. So it's very hard to notice him if you're not constantly checking your surroundings. And it's also kind of see him, kind of hard to see him while he's invisible. And with the right add-ons too, just like with Trapper. This list does include add-ons. You can't hear him coming out of his cloaking. So we could just straight up grab you off a of gen or surprise you out of nowhere. Which can be horrifying if you're on the receiving end. I've been on the receiving end. So yeah, for that reason, Rafe would be an A tier. Hillbilly. I so badly want to put him in the F tier. But I know that he's a good killer by all means. His map patrol is very good. He can honestly move around the map pretty well, unlike Trapper who has to just walk around. His chainsaw makes him, gives him the ability to move very, very fast around almost every map, which is great. He can insta-down people with his chainsaw. Great gen patrol, like I said. It's honestly just a very well-balanced well killer. Now, it is somewhat easy to counter him with tight corners and loops, so... I wouldn't put him in A nor S, but I would definitely put him in B. So I'm gonna put him at a solid B. <coughs> oh shit. The nurse. Honestly, I don't wanna put her at S tier because I there is a common way to counter her. It is just by basically faking the direction you're going to go behind a wall. Basically, you run past the wall, double back, and normally the nurse will just go right to the wall, then you're right there. Pretty easy way to counter the nurse, but overall, she is still a freaking cheat code, and honestly, I'm still gonna put her in S tier, because in a good nurse's hands, unbeatable. So she could go through the she can go around the map almost way better than Hillbilly can. Not as fast, but can move in different directions. Hillbilly cannot. She can, she can wall hack. Just go through walls, which is so strong, so good, and that's why she belongs in the S tier. Mikkel Myers or The Shape. Mm, I'm gonna put him at C tier. While his stock ability is pretty wonky, and tier 3 is great, especially if you have infinite tier 3, just getting to it gonna take a little while and if they're gen rushing you there's really, really no point of you trying to get to tier 3 but if you do get the tier 3 he can be a devastating killer to go up against especially because he's so fast and has a very wide range lunge which can be very hard to go against but honestly all you gotta do is stand out of his sight range which is easier said than done but I still don't think he's that good he is fun though hag it's mm, her traps are really good and are kind of better than trappers because they're a lot harder to notice and see and uh, you can't disarm them you just have to crouch around them and if you're in the middle of a chase 
<laughs> you don't got time to crouch. So, the traps are a little bit better than trappers. In the sense that she can also teleport to her trap, which trapper cannot do. And also, she can basically stop a loop kind of better than trapper. Overall, she is a better version of trapper. Sadly, I don't like saying that because I love trapper so much, but she is just a little bit better version. And the only really way to get to get rid of her traps is if you bring a flashlight. And if you don't have a flashlight, you can't get rid of it. So, Doctor. <coughs> Honestly, I'm going to put Doctor in A tier. Just for his ability to shut down loops. And to also be able to locate survivors' location in like, just like that, sort of. Off rip, just giving them shock, shock therapy or static shock. I don't know which one it is. It's pretty freaking strong. Now you may, you do have to somewhat learn when and when not to use it, but you'll get the hang of it. And honestly, it's just so good to just always know where a survivor is for your next chase. Huntress. Hmm. I don't know if she belongs in S tier. B tier, A tier. She's definitely not F, D, or C. I'm going to go halfway and say A tier. Her hatches are really good for stopping loops, just like the doctor. But you have to be able to free, like, wind it up. You know, you got to have some knowledge to play hunters, you know. Also, your aim has to be pretty decent. But overall, she's pretty good. The only thing that really also keeps her out of S tier is that little humming she gives off. Kind of gives her a way that she's coming. But yeah, honestly, I think Hunches is still a great killer, nonetheless. Hey, uh, the Cannibal. Uh, <coughs> Everyone who plays Baba are dickheads. I'm mean, gonna say that right now. You face camp. Now, you know what? There you go. But Bubba gets his own tier. No one likes you, Bubba. No one likes you. Always face camping. For what? For what? <sighs> but in all seriousness, he is a B tier killer, just like Hilly. Same gimmick, except you don't, you can't move as fast around the map, but it's easy to go around loops and corners. But for now, I'm going to keep him in this tier, because no one likes you, Bubba. <coughs> Freddy. Oh, Freddy, Freddy, Freddy. Honestly, I don't know. <coughs> it's pretty controversial with Bubba. Up to that. Or not Bubba, Freddy. Mm. On one hand, his ability to teleport to Gen Gen is good. And the Dream World kind of nullifying his terror radius is good. But on the other hand, that little snare shit is horrible. Doesn't do nothing, really, in my opinion. So, honestly, I'm going to put Freddy as the first D-tier character. He's not that good. Honestly, I, don't, I honestly think he could use a buff. Just my opinion. His perks are great. But, I'm not really going to look at the perks like that. More or less, his add-ons are pretty okay, too. I just overall think he needs a buff. I know he's been through like some controversial stages, but I think he needs a buff. Peg. I just. I want to put Peg higher too, but. Honestly. Her stalking or her, her crouching is honestly worse than Michael and Ghost faces. Like, you can see Pig from a freaking mile away. And all you gotta do is start sprinting away to get away from Pig. And boom, just like that, you created a lot of death for Pig. While you can do a good amount of mind game for her, I still don't think that's a lot. And her bear traps, they don't create a lot of pressure. Like, it gotta be, like, a lot faster until they, like, kill you. To create a lot more pressure. You make them wanna hurry up and get it off instead of doing gins. So, right now, she's D-tier. Clown, 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 clown. Uh, 
Uh, let me rename this tier into the... Up oh, can't spell. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put Clown in the okay tier. <sighs> Actually, it's hard because if you right, this bottle can be really, really good, which would make him seem like he's a good killer. But also, this <coughs> bottle can straight up do nothing. And be not so good killer. So I think he also goes middle ground. Those yellow bottles are just freaking useless. On like, don't even use the yellow bottles; they're useless. But those pink bottles, if used right, could be pretty okay to get you a hit or knock. So yeah. <laughs> Moving on to spirit. Spirit S tier. Honestly, I think Spirit has the best, think one of the best kills in the game, just because she could sort of do what the Wraith does, but a little bit worse, but better at the same time. That she can go invisible too, like the Wraith. <clears throat> but it's not like permanent where like you can be in there as long as you want, but she moves a little bit faster It doesn't take so long to get out of the visibility. It can hit immediately Which makes her a lot better. Her map patrol is just as good as the uh, Wraith and Nurse <coughs> Her add-ons are immaculate Overall just an S tier killer Legion I honestly think he's the worst killer in the game. J just by far the worst killer in the game. Like, I want him to be good so bad because he's so cool. But that feral frenzy is so stupid. He should have been able to just. He should have been like an imposter character, you know? Like, so disappointed with Legion. He's so bad. So bad. Like, oh, I'm supposed to just hit and just run away and let them heal? No. Well, yes, you can hit and then go out of Frail Frenzy. They still have enough time to create some distance, go through a loop. Which. Oh, crap. Alright, back to where we were. Uh, shoot, what's the time on this video? 13 minutes, not that bad. Plague, uh... She's pretty good. She can make people one-shottable, if I'm not mistaken, with her vile purge, or with just her throwing up. That's not much to say about Plague. Her vile purge is pretty okay, too. Just think that She's more or less okay than good, but I'm gonna put her at good just because she's pretty good. She can somewhat shut down pallets. Ghostface, mm, he's okay. His power can be canceled out though, unlike Michael's, which is kind of bad. But also, he can also one shot you immediately, unlike Michael. So. There's the little balancing thing. He can also sneak up on you and grab you, which is kind of scary. Overall, pretty okay.
And honestly, I think he doesn't need to be changed. Demogorgon. Good. His portals are really good for map control. You know, patrolling areas. Opposite <laughs> portals through portal. And also defending hook survivors. Overall, pretty good killer. The Oni. Great, actually. Uh, hold on, let me order this from best to worst. This is the best. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, God. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right. <sighs> but Oni. He has the ability <coughs> to have the potential to get the map patrol that Hillbilly has in the one shot, the oh, or the instant down ability that uh, Ghostface has. Basically, you kind of have to take a health away from Survivor to get blood points, so it does. It takes time to get this ability, but once you get it, it's a huge payoff. So I think it's pretty good, more or less good than great. So, good. Deathlinger. Good. Honestly, I think it's a pretty good killer. Pretty well balanced. Not too strong, not too weak. Has the ability to bring you in. So, you better start zigzagging or else he's getting ya. Pyramid Head. Uh, I say he's <coughs> he's good. Mm. All of the ability to snipe you through walls is uh, amazing. His ability to moor you without a uh, moor is amazing. He doesn't need a hook to hook you if you get in his trail of torment, which is good. Overall, I think he's more or less a great killer. Blight. Game breaking. Nah, he's just good. Self explanatory. Great map patrol, just like the uh <sighs> Demogorgon and Hillbilly, but just a lot better. Or not a lot better, just a little bit somewhat better. His ability can also hit like the hillbillies, but the reason why he's above the hillbilly <coughs> It's, uh, just because this add-on is a little bit better in my opinion, that's really it. I don't like the Blight, I don't like playing him at all, but he also is really good in the community, a lot of people say that. Twins! <coughs> oh, I hate the cough. Hmm. The Twins are also pretty great. They have great, I would say pretty decent gym patrol. A pretty unique ability that can catch survivors off guard. And also can help you find survivors if you just leave Victor out in the open, but he can die, so you'd be wary of that. But overall, pretty great killer. I like them. Trickster. My old main killer. I say he's good. Not to toot my own horn, but I was a pretty decent trickster. I like him. His knife ability is a little bit worse than Huntress's hatchet ability, but still. His add-on that allows you to get to him to the uh, stage of exposure is pretty freaking good. I also, he's overall a pretty good killer. Pretty good pressure in the chase. It's really hard to escape him. <coughs> yeah, I think he's a good killer. And finally, the last killer on this list. Oh, no, I did not mean to put Nemesis in the bad tier. I'm going to put Nemesis in Game Breaking. Here's why. His zombies, not not the best, but can come in clutch with some of these add-ons, or just overall just being a surprise factor for survivors. <coughs> Honestly, I think his tier 3 tentacle is unstoppable. If you let him get to tier 3, you lose, and it's pretty easy for him to get to tier 3. Be able to destroy pallets, doors. It's just insane. 
And also, he may be pretty big. But also, just helps a little bit with the fear factor. His perks are also amazing too, but that's not really the factor. Overall, I think he may be the lowest game-breaking tier character. But I still think he's amazing. But yeah, this is my Dead by Daylight character tier list for killers. What do you guys think of it? Do you guys disagree? Agree? What would you guys change? Let me go in the comments. But, uh, yeah. That is it for now. But till next time, I'll catch y'all later. Thank you for watching. My name is Sen on Sin, and I'm not good with outros. I need to work on that.